Desde el cielo, mis cadenas suenan como campanas. From heaven, my chains ring like bells. Desde la distancia, y aparecer como una mujer. From a distance, I appear as a woman. Forjando espacio para que mis alas vuelen. Carving out space for my wings to fly. Pisando fuerte mis pies para que el artificio se derrumbe. Stomping my feet so that the artifice collapses. Despertando la tierra para que pueda atraparme cuando caiga. Waking the earth so that she may catch me when I fall. Estirando mi voz para estar armonía con la luna. Stretching my voice so that I'm in harmony with the moon. Respirando profundamente para que mi corazón se llene de luz solar. Breathing in deep so that my heart fills with sunlight. Mírame, watch me, siénteme, feel me. Para so que tú también puedas. Nothing grows in secret except for that nasty scar left unattended. Nothing grows in secret except for that festering wound screaming for your attention nothing grows in secret Except for the sweltering sun who seeks no permission. Nothing grows in secret except for the garden. For it is there, here, meet me, where the darkness illuminates light, where the river is of gold, and you are no longer afraid of home. Oi. Los girasoles se pusieron verdes. Y buscó a mami y le preguntó, mami, ¿por qué se crecieron verdes los girasoles? Y ella me dijo, 
hijo mío. Los girasoles crecen como lo desean. ¿A quién le importa y por qué? Hoy, los girasoles se pusieron rojos. Y buscó a papi y le preguntó, papi, ¿por qué se crecieron rojos los girasoles? Y él me dijo, hijo mío, los girasoles se impacienta con sus petalos siempre llegando al sol. Hoy, los girasoles se pusieron morados. Y buscó a mi abuela y le preguntó, abuela, ¿Por qué se crecen los morados los girasoles? Y ella me dijo, Mi nieto, nunca preguntes si es la maldición de Dios o la bendición del diablo. Hoy, los girasoles se pusieron negros y buscó a mi hermanito para que lo vea y él dice qué pena hermano ¿por qué se vuelven negros sus girasoles? ¿qué podría decir? Hoy, los girasoles se volvieron amarillos y miré el reflejo del sol y yo me preguntaba, ¿por qué se vuelven amarillos los girasoles ahora? Y en ese momento, una abeja aterrizó en el girasol. Lilith asked me, Who do you want to be? I'm tired. Is it every carving valley and cascading river upon your skin? Your entrapping softness? Your alluring aroma? 
Your sunlit eyes parting the clouds, and each of the seven seas keeping you away from me. Thank you for your rejection. For now, I am almost complete. You redirected my attention back onto myself, but what do I make of this now? Of this shattered glass and these bloodied fists? Why, oh why do I want you so? Whenever I return my gaze back onto myself, I reject who I see, nor do I recognize her plea. Mother, please accept this apology for I have killed your son. In Baltimore green and full of fire into my mouth, traversing the gates below within my stomach collapsing and rising once again may his ashes rebirth my glee glimmering blooming a diamond was she You're green, then you're yellow. You're pink, then magenta. Blue becomes orange, red becomes violet. I think of every shape you take, you hide once more, and then you say, this is the silhouette of a woman in turning. Accept. It's only me, and it's only a butterfly, and then a rose, and a bee, and a dragonfly, and a snake that bursts the waves within your stomach, and finally, the pearl created from its venom. But what does it mean? Ah, yes. This is the silhouette of a woman in turning. Let me shed this shadow once more before daybreak. I wish to know what vibrancy awaits the other side. Insatiable is the woman who slips honey beneath her tongue. Do you want fire? Insatiable is the woman who wraps her head in silk. Do you know fire? Insatiable is the woman. Insatiable is the woman who caresses every inch and crevice and scar upon her skin. 
from the earth beneath her feet to the waters that rise and flow from her hips and to her belly from her chest and to her throat from her lips and to her temple yet still you question fire <laughs> ah, so it's your eyes affixed to a dilemma of your own making. You like playing with fire. If I were yours, I'd be. just like me. I run with the river and pray to the waves. Through the ocean may I lose my memory of the days. Look at you. You move like the waters. You are the mightiest crashing wave within the smallest drop of rain. You rise and fall, but never falter. My heart rejoices in your petrichor. I could get lost in your garden. I mistake God's name for yours. We flow from the same river, yet still we're separate streams. Our blood is the same color, but mine is blessed to be deadly. You are not the cure, and I would surely kill you. If only a kiss were enough to satiate this poison. Your gilded tongue, a desert. If only, if only it were you. I thought I loved you. In the best way
The sand beneath your feet, nor the curls in your hair, can measure the light years I spent waiting for you. Allow my heat to melt and shatter the time away.
I am the summer day of my life. I am raw agave sunshine. I am golden brown sugar. I am divine, honey. I am the light leading the rainbow. My heart, the chariot of the sun. And if I am the sun, then you are a distant star. What gravity is strong enough to pull us apart, back together, and apart again? If I am the sun, then you are a distant star. Further, further, go further. If I am the sun, then you are a distant star. Who calls out to you? Do their songs ring louder than my whispering your name? If I am the sun, then you are a distant star. Who looks up at you? Do they look at you the way that I do? I hope they do. I hope they do. If I am the sun, then you are a distant star. They saw our constellation and made gods out of us. If I am the sun, then you are a distant star. What gravity holds you as king? I hear the whispers amongst men. If I am the sun, then you are a distant star. Only time. So much time. We're promised to meet in a different face, yet still we're left blinded by our own reflections. Only time will tell when our orbits evolve from a chance eclipse into a cosmic dance, into a divine union, into a supernova, into the birth of a new world away from here. If I am the sun, then you are a distant star. Closer, closer, come closer. If I am the sun, then you are a dying star, pulling me into your center, a symphony not even gravity can bear. Deeper, deeper, go deeper. Then you said to me, I love the sun, but I can look at the moon. But I am not the sun, nor am I the moon or a shooting star. I am nothing but flesh and blood. 
and bone and water and you no more or less. But in this amber sunlight, with the warmth radiating from between us, none is the difference. And this is all we need. Then I say unto you, who reminds you of your beauty when you wake? Below the lion's heart, another sun rises, and there is no need to chase it, for it has already found you, and it couldn't wait to see you over the horizon. Is that so? And I say unto you, to what ends of the universe does the sun's light not reach? Do you think of yourself as the untouchable exception? Do you see now that every lover and black body star is simply a reflection of every spectrum you radiate? Oh, and I say unto you, what love may bring you down to fatal feet? You see this heart that bleeds so eloquently of a baffling attitude, so far so encompassing as to leave you behind and wondering, I love you, I love you, I love you. And then a voice said, Let there be light. And I, Asaira, arose from the ashes. Thank you.